Hey guys, welcome back to Tactics Tips. I'm Johnny Too Much as always, and uh, we're hoping the weather stays off long enough so I can show you about a great gun that everybody's been talking about for over a year now, the Smith & Wesson Shield. You know, my boy Han Solo, he says, ancient weapons and hokey religions are no match for a good blaster at your side, kid. I tend to believe him. If you look at this piece right here, Smith & Wesson, again, they always make great firearms, but you got a 7-in-1 capability that actually comes with two magazines, one that has a little bit of an extension for 8-in-1, and this is the 9mm, it also comes in 40 caliber if you'd like a little more kick. And uh, overall, just a great gun. It's nice, compact, it's nice and thin. Um, really doesn't hamper your side much because it's pretty lightweight as far as carrying it all day. In fact, uh, when I travel a lot, I tend to carry this gun. And uh, I know what you're thinking right off the bat is, can it shoot? Let's find out, yeah? I bargained for on the Mountain Dew, huh? Yeah. Those things blow up real nice. Oh! Hey, there's something to check here. Come on in, come on in. I got a... I got a double speed here. You notice this magazine... <laughs> didn't eject the shell all the way. So... This is a safety issue I'd like to clear, so I'm going to go ahead and pull this mag back and drop my mag, get that extra shell out of there, and check my magazine, check my gun. If you're ever going to look at a barrel, go this way. Don't ever look the other way. It's a terrible idea. Right. It all looks good. Probably just a dummy round. We'll see what we can do now and keep her going. Red just makes the best color. Let's let somebody else have some fun. I'm having a little too much fun over here, huh? All right, I got the extended mag on here, which is nicer for a bigger hand because I got my pinky grip all the way down, which is quite comfortable for me. So let's see how it shoots. Got a racket, that would help. I'm just a random guy, I don't really know what I'm doing. Ah, that's it. I got some pop on me. Yeah, yeah, the random guy has no idea what he's doing. I don't have any more targets left. I mean, that's just a testament to this gun. I mean, uh, a random guy is here mainly to show you what the new guy would want to do and, and how the new guy would operate. And even a newer shooter was able to operate this with lightning speed. I'm a little impressed, man. That would have made Rambo blush. Uh, but why don't we check out what would happen with a good grouping. Let's get a good grouping on a target and see what you think of it, huh? Uh, so there's our grouping. I mean, look at that. We did this from 18 feet, and Jesus, that's less than a fist. This thing not only hits what you aim at, but it keeps it all in that nice, compact zero circle where you want to be. Uh, let's do another one, see what we think. So I shot the gun and I'm not really used to it, but it did pretty good for me. I mean, I basically got them all in the circle for the most part. And it feels really good because as soon as you shoot it, you can fire it again and still be on target. Um, it's really easy to aim and it feels great. I would absolutely recommend buying this gun. All right, so we just got done with a little bit of range time, and clearly we had a lot of fun. It was. <laughs> it was a blast. <laughs> Literally. That run you had, man. I mean, I mean, he, random guy is not really big on compact pistols. This is new to him, and one of the reasons we value his opinion is because he comes from the new shooter sort of mindset. I'm a noob. 
r straight up noob, <laughs> for real. Especially for all you gamer folks out there, he's noob as noob can be. And to see that run was just kind of cool, man. So, so really, what, what was your thoughts on this? Well, I mean, I have minimal experience with handguns, but it's usually a Glock that I'm shooting. Mm -hmm. And um, this is compact. But it feels like a full-bodied, large handgun. Word. I mean, it fits all the way down here. When you fire it, there's no, like, <sighs> it's just pull the trigger, aim, pull the trigger, aim, pull the trigger. And it works great. I mean, I love the Glock, but if you want to look at the Smith & Wesson. Right, when you want to get more brands in your in your gun safe. This get both. Brand. Yeah, I, I, I'm into that. Get both. Um, and I agree with you. I mean, it's only six inches. and uh, the Six barrels, inches? And the barrel's only three inches. So, um, for a gun that small and having an oscillated stack magazine... What does that mean? Well, it bridges the gap between double stack and single stack. So even though it's a thinner magazine, it still holds. This one's seven rounds in the, the, the extended mag, eight rounds. That's nine rounds in your, on your side. With the Glock 26, it's thicker, it's a little heavier. We love the Glock 26, but if you're going to be wearing it a long time, this is a good other option. It's, it's, it's a little smaller, it's a little lighter, it's a little more compact. A little harder to fall out of your shirt, so the girl behind you in the in the supermarket goes, "Is that a gun?" <laughs> we don't want that moment, and this is a great option for that. One thing, though, because when we were on the range, you saw that it didn't fire. Right, there was a jam. There was a jam. There was so a jam. Is that because the gun sucks? I wouldn't say that. Uh, this is a great gun, and uh, I've shot it a lot before. And this is just the first model. They actually have the Performance Center, and when I get the 2.0 version in my hands, I'm definitely going to show you guys. But I was using that two love turd ammunition just so I could blow up some two liters. Turd and, ammunition. Yeah, so it, it turned out on me and uh, what we did was we just made sure, we hung out for a second that it wasn't a slow burn or it wasn't a, a hang fire and after we established that we put the slide back, we took the mag out and then handled that uh, stuck shell because I don't want the live rounds anywhere near the chamber while I'm trying to clear it. All right. what, what, I was going to ask you this yeah. because like the bullet was half sticking out but what uh -huh. if I'm firing it and it just doesn't go off? Am I supposed to set it down, or what do I, I don't know? Oh, that's a great question. Um, shit, you know, let me, let's show you that real quick. I want you guys to be safe on the range. If something like that happens, even with a good weapon like this, I want you to be prepared. So why don't we set it up? I can show you right All now. Right. It's, it's a good idea. Works that's a great range. question. Cool. All right. And this is an aloe plant. Okay, so you pull the trigger and it doesn't go off, right? First things first, while I'm showing you this, I want you to know uh, this is an unloaded gun, and we have these snap caps in the magazine instead of real ammunition so uh, we can practice things like jams and failure to fires, failure to feeds. This would be a failure to fire, the other FTF. All right. So I put the mag in the, in the gun, rack it back, I'm ready to go shoot some two liters and nothing happens. First thing you can do is hang out a second. This might be a slow burn. I've seen that happen exactly twice in my life. A guy fired a 1911 didn't go off. When he went to go clear it, boom, it went off. Almost lost his finger. And then I was on set of a movie, this was just last year, and one of the armorers set up the gun to go. He pulled the trigger, it didn't go off, and when he went to go clear it, it went off. And the chamber actually gripped him. He had to get four stitches in his hand, so I don't want you to get four stitches in your hand. So this is my version of doing it. I hope it helps you. It goes click, it doesn't go bang. I wait a minute. And after we wait a minute, we're going to take the mag out and clear that round. Okay. I'm going to check again. And when I know it's clear and it's safe, I can go ahead and check my magazine, make sure that was an okay uh, set of ammunition. Might have just been a dumb, dummy round. And, uh, okay, it looks good to me. So I can go ahead, recycle that round, and continue firing. So what more can I say about the Smith & Wesson Shield that hasn't been said? It's a great firearm, and if you're on the fence about buying one, I'd say go ahead and spend the bills. You'll be happy, I guarantee it. I'm Johnny Too Much. This is Tech Tips. And as always, stay safe out there, will you?